Series soothe us, series entertain us, series mesmerize us. While watching them, you get a huge amount of emotional release, which is necessary to cope with the problems that worry you. On the other hand, there are many elements in the series that help you get a glimpse of life beyond the screen. You see how people behave in certain situations. So you can compare what happens in real life with what is shown in this series. Moreover, the authors have tried to write such a plot, which would be fascinating for absolutely different people. Each episode of the season promises to be rich and interesting. According to official sources, the new episode will be released in the very near future. The premiere show is scheduled for December 28th. A promising episode can please all viewers with its incredible and thoughtful plot. It remains to hope that the creators of such a series will not fail, and we will have a happy opportunity to enjoy a beautiful masterpiece of the genre. The lingering hours until the premiere can be filled by watching other amazing series. But choosing a series to watch is not an easy thing to do. But don't despair, just follow our recommendations. Fargo is an American black comedy crime drama television series created and primarily written by Noah Hawley. The show is inspired by the 1996 film of the same name, which was written and directed by the Cone brothers, and takes place within the same fictional universe. The Cones were impressed by Hawley's script and agreed to be named as executive producers. The series premiered on April 15, 2014. Each season is heavily influenced by various Cone Brothers films, with each containing numerous references to them. The first season, set primarily in Minnesota and North Dakota from January 2006 to February 2007 and starring Billy Bob Thornton, Allison Tolman, Colin Hanks, and Martin Freeman, received wide acclaim from critics. It won the Primetime Emmy Awards for Outstanding Miniseries, Outstanding Directing, and Outstanding Casting, and received 15 additional nominations including Outstanding Writing, another Outstanding Directing nomination, and Acting nominations for all four leads. In 1997, a pilot was filmed for an intended television series based on the film. Filming of the first season began in Calgary, Alberta, in late 2013 and concluded in 2014. The first season garnered eight Primetime Emmy Award nominations. The first season of Fargo received critical acclaim. It currently holds a Metacritic score of 85 out of 100 based on 40 reviews, indicating universal acclaim. Lie to Me is an American crime drama television series. In the show, Dr. Cal Lightman and his colleagues in the Lightman Group accept assignments from third parties, commonly local and federal law enforcement, and assist in investigations, reaching the truth through applied psychology. The show received mostly positive reviews from television critics. Tim Roth as Dr. Cal Lightman, a brilliant expert in the science of body language, especially microexpressions, and founder of the Lightman Group, a private company that operates as an independent contractor to assist investigations of local and federal law enforcement through applied psychology. Though often confronted by people's skepticism, Lightman uses any technique he deems necessary to reach the truth, however elaborate or confronting. He is divorced and shares custody of his teenage daughter. He cares deeply about his colleague Jillian Foster. Season 1 opens with Cal and Jillian hiring a new associate, TSA officer Ria Torres, who scored extraordinarily high on Cal's deception detection diagnostic, and is in turn labeled a natural at deception detection. Her innate talent in the field clashes with Cal's academic approach, and he often shows off by rapidly analyzing her every facial expression. She counters by reading Lightman and, when he least expects it, peppers conversations with quotes from his books. Vikings is a historical drama television series created and written by Michael Hurst. Vikings is inspired by the sagas of Ragnar Lodbrok, a Viking who is one of the best-known legendary Norse heroes and notorious as the scourge of Anglo-Saxon England and West Francia. The show portrays Ragnar as a farmer who rises to fame by raiding England and eventually becomes the Scandinavian king, with the support of his family and fellow warriors. In the later seasons, the series follows the fortunes of his sons and their adventures in England, Scandinavia, the Mediterranean and North America. The series began filming in July 2012 at Ashford Studios in Ireland, which at the time was a newly built facility. This location was chosen for its scenery and tax advantages. The first episode received favorable reviews, with an average rating of 71% according to Metacritic. 
Many characters are based on real people from history or legend and the events portrayed are broadly drawn from history. The history of more than a century has been condensed, people who could never have met are shown as of similar age, with the history amended for dramatic effect. The main role is played by Travis Fimmel. The man at the time of filming the series was already 35 years, but before the series Vikings, he got only a minor minor role. He was better known as a model, because he did not see himself as the fearless leader of the harsh northerners. After the series, the actor became one of the most recognizable among contemporary celebrities. Jodha Akbar is an Indian fictional drama romantic television series aired from June 18, 2013 to August 7, 2015. Starring Raja Tokas and Pariti Sharma, it was a successful show with praises for its cast performances. Jodha Akbar is an epic drama that focuses on how the marriage policy brings the love of Jodha Bai and Akbar in a measure that has changed the destiny of India. This drama period also describes the wars of this time and the relations between the Mughals and Rajputs and how Jodha and Akbar face trials and tribulations to be together. The drama also focuses on the operating queens, courts, courtesans, ministers and their influence on the love story of Akbar and Jodha Bai. Finally, the show also portrays how Mughal Emperor Jalaluddin Muhammad acquires the title Akbar from the people of India. Jalaluddin Muhammad, a fearless warrior, son of Emperor Humayun and Hamida Banu Begum, became the emperor of the Mughal dynasty at a very young age. He is under the influence of Bairam Khan, his reagent, and Maham Anga, his foster mother. Bairam Khan has taught Jalal to be a ruthless and cruel ruler, and spread his rule by fear, conquer people by the sword. Jalal, following Bairam Khan's ideals becomes a heartless and fearsome ruler, whom the people dislike. He wants to conquer the entire Hindustan, and presently, he is eyeing the golden Rajputana. Jodha Bai, princess of Amar, daughter of Raja Barmal and Rani Mainavati, is a kind and intelligent young girl, who believes in ruling people's hearts and that rule is spread by love and togetherness, not by force. She decides to go to a faraway temple to offer prayers on her birthday, along with Modi Bai, her friend and aide. While offering prayers there, a band of Mughal soldiers come and start looting the jewelry of the goddess. When Modi Bai tries to stop them, they try to molest her. Angered at this, Jodha asks who could be so cruel as to rob people of their religions, to which a temple person replied Jalaluddin Muhammad. Jodha pledges to destroy Jalal and present his head in front of the goddess. The title of the series was criticized by members of the Kshatriya community as misleading, politically motivated historical revisionism that minimized Rajput history. The community protested against the series in Rajasthan, and alleged that if the name was not changed they would not let any Balaji Telefilms films to be released in the state. American Horror Story is an American anthology horror television series created by Ryan Murphy and Brad Falchuk. Each season is conceived as a self-contained miniseries, following a different set of characters and settings, and a storyline with its own beginning, middle, and end. Some plot elements of each season are loosely inspired by true events. Many actors appear in more than one season, often playing a new character. The first season, takes place in Los Angeles, California in 2011, and centers on a family that moves into a house haunted by its former occupants. Although reception to individual seasons has varied, American Horror Story largely has been well received by television critics, with the majority of the praise going towards the cast, particularly Jessica Lange. The series draws consistently high ratings for the FX network, with its first season being the most viewed new cable series of 2011. Creators Murphy and Falchuk began working on American Horror Story before their Fox series Glee began production. Murphy wanted to do the opposite of what he had done previously and thus began his work on the series. Falchuk was intrigued by the idea of putting a different angle on the horror genre, stating that their main goal in creating the series was to scare viewers. From the beginning, Murphy and Falchuk planned that each season of the series would tell a different story. After the first season finale aired, Murphy spoke of his plans to change the cast and location for the second season. The first season, American Horror Story, Murder House, received generally positive reviews from critics. Legacies is an American fantasy drama television series, created by Julie Pleck, that premiered on October 25, 2018. 
Legacies follows Hope Michelson, the daughter of Klaus Michelson and Haley Marshall, who is descended from some of the most powerful vampire, werewolf, and witch bloodlines. 17-year-old Hope attends the Salvatore School for the Young and Gifted. The school provides a haven where supernatural beings can learn to control their abilities and impulses. The first episode introduces the viewer to an interesting plot. Hope Michelson, a student at the Salvatore School for the Young and Gifted, assists her headmaster, Alaric Saltzman, in recruiting werewolf, Raphael, to the school. In the process, Hope runs into her old friend Landon, who is also Raphael's foster brother, but since the school for the supernatural is deemed to be too dangerous for humans, Landon is turned away. When vampire student, M.G., fails to compel Landon to forget his knowledge of the supernatural, it is assumed Landon has ingested vervain. Landon is locked up in a cell until it can clear his system. Hope visits Landon in his cell while Alaric's daughters Josie and Lizzie give Raphael a tour of the school. Hope tells Landon the truth about her supernatural origins. Knowing his memory will be erased, Landon kisses her. After Landon leaves, it is revealed the compulsions have still not worked and he stole a knife from the school before he left. Hope enlists Josie to help her locate the knife and Landon. Landon's bus explodes and as Sheriff Matt Donovan evaluates the crime scene, Alaric deduces it was Landon, who is missing, must be some kind of supernatural being. Hope vows to track him down. Once Upon a Time is an American fantasy adventure drama television series that aired for seven seasons on ABC from October 23, 2011 to May 18, 2018. The action alternates between two main settings, a fantastical world where fairy tales happen, and a fictional seaside town in Maine called Storybrooke. The real-world part of the story unfolds with the characters of Emma Swan and her 10-year-old son, Henry Mills. Henry discovers the other people of the town are fairy tale characters. The audience is shown the backstory of the town's people as fairy tale characters, in conjunction with their unfolding stories in the real world. Most of the show's characters are extracted from famous fairy tales of the brothers Grimm and Hans Christian Andersen, popular Western literature, folklore, Arthurian legend, and Greek mythology, as well as original Disney characters from the Walt Disney Company. The core themes of the show are hope and optimism. For the first six seasons, the series is set in the fictional seaside town of Storybrooke, Maine, in which the residents are actually fairy tale characters that were transported to the real world town and robbed of their memories. Adam Horowitz and Edward Kitsis conceived the show in 2004 before joining the writing staff of Lost, but wanted to wait until that series was over to focus on this project. Eight years before the Once Upon a Time pilot, Kitsis and Horowitz became inspired to write fairy tales out of a love of mystery and excitement of exploring lots of different worlds. They presented the premise to networks, but were refused because of its fantastic nature. From their time on Lost, the writers learn to look at the story in a different way, namely that character has to trump mythology. Misfits is a British science fiction comedy drama television show, about a group of young offenders sentenced to work in a community service program, where they obtain supernatural powers after a strange electrical storm. The show premiered on November 12, 2009 and concluded on December 11, 2013 in its fifth season. The show is filmed in southeast London, mostly on location around the Southmere Lake in Thamesmead, including the signature shot of the four multi-story buildings from the roof of the Lakeside Centre and Bexley College. The first series was accompanied by an online viral marketing, on social networking websites such as Facebook and Twitter. For example, in a British first, the characters Simon and Kelly tweeted during the initial transmission of each episode, with the content of the tweets provided by writers Sam Leifer and Ben Edwards, under the direction of lead writer Howard Overman and executive producer Petra Fry. British reviews were positive. The Times gave it 4 out of 5 stars, calling it a new union, salty British street humor with whiz-bang special effects. The Irish media were also impressed with the show. The Evening Herald called the debut episode dark, hilarious, exciting and beautifully produced. The Good Doctor is an American medical drama television series based on the 2013 South Korean series of the same name. Actor Daniel Day Kim, world famous for his role in the TV series Lost, noticed the original series and bought the rights for his production company. 
He began adapting the series and, in 2015, eventually shopped it to CBS Television Studios. CBS decided against creating a pilot. Because Kim felt so strongly about the series, he bought back the rights from CBS. Eventually, Sony Pictures Television and Kim worked out a deal and brought on David Shore, creator of the Fox medical drama house, to develop the series. In the first episode, on the way to begin his surgical residency at San Jose Hospital, Dr. Sean Murphy witnesses an airport sign fall and shatter glass onto a young boy. With his unique ability to visualize the internal body and using improvised methods and tools, Sean is able to stabilize the boy. In a hospital board meeting, Dr. Aaron Glassman, president of the hospital, tries to convince the board to hire Sean, despite his autism. Throughout the episode, flashbacks were shown, revealing the picture of Sean's childhood and his motivation for becoming a doctor. Lost is an American drama television series that aired on ABC from 2004 to 2010, over six seasons, comprising a total of 121 episodes. The show contains elements of supernatural and science fiction, and follows the survivors of a commercial jet airliner flying between Sydney and Los Angeles, after the plane crashes on a mysterious island somewhere in the South Pacific Ocean. The story is told in a heavily serialized manner. Episodes typically feature a primary storyline set on the island, augmented by flashback or flash-forward sequences which provide additional insight into the involved characters. Developed as a television adaptation of the 2000 Tom Hanks film Castaway, Lost was created by Jeffrey Lieber, J. J. Abrams, and Damon Lindelof, who share story writing credits for the pilot episode, which Abrams directed. Throughout the show's run, Lindelof and Carlton Cuse served as showrunners and head writers, working together with many other executive producers and writers. Due to its large ensemble cast and the cost of filming primarily on location in Oahu, Hawaii, the series was one of the most expensive on television, with the pilot alone costing over $14 million. Lost has regularly been ranked by critics as one of the greatest television series of all time. The first season had an estimated average of 16 million viewers per episode on ABC. During its sixth and final season, the show averaged over 11 million US viewers per episode. Lost was the recipient of hundreds of industry award nominations throughout its run and won numerous of these awards, including the Emmy Award for Outstanding Drama Series in 2005. The plot of the first episode of the first season turned out to be very interesting. Oceanic Airlines Flight 815, a commercial airliner flying from Sydney to Los Angeles, hits turbulence and breaks apart in mid-air and crashes on a deserted tropical island in the South Pacific, with 48 survivors of the initial crash. Mysterious roars are heard from the jungle and trees are found knocked over. Jack, Kate and Charlie set out into the jungle to find the cockpit of the airplane so they can send out a distress signal using the plane's transceiver. They also find the pilot, who survived the crash and informs them that the plane had been steered more than a thousand miles off course before it crashed, and thus any rescuers would be looking in the wrong place.